Hi, I'm Mark, and we have to talk about Brexit again and about Sunak's growing and growing problems. In the struggle to reach an agreement between London and Brussels on the Brexit rules for the British region of Northern Ireland, there are increasing signs of an imminent breakthrough. The British news agency PA at least reported on Friday that MPs from the ruling Conservative Party in Great Britain were instructed to come to Parliament on Monday. This was interpreted as a sign that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak could announce an agreement with the EU. However, it was unclear whether MPs would be given the opportunity to vote on any deal. It is expected that Sunak will hold talks with EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen before a breakthrough in the negotiations. That was supposed to happen over this weekend, as the PA speculated. Crucial to success is likely to be whether Sunak will be able to get largest, the largest unionist party in Northern Ireland, the DUP, behind him. In protest against the so-called Northern Ireland Protocol, they have been blocking the formation of a government in the British region of the North for months. The Northern Ireland Protocol is part of the Brexit Treaty. It was negotiated by then Prime Minister Boris Johnson against the will of the DUP and enabled a kind of orderly exit from the EU. In the parliamentary election scheduled shortly thereafter, Johnson won a solid majority, or the, the 2019 Great Victory. The protocol provides that the customs border between the UK and the EU runs in the Irish Sea. This was to prevent border checks between British Northern Ireland and the EU member Ireland having that they have to be introduced there. And otherwise it was expected that the conflict about unifying the two parts of Ireland would flare up again. But the Czechs have also created difficulties for intra-British trade for goods and the Union's supporters fell cut, f f yeah, they felt cut off from Britain. But now the problems really start because the game has been repeated with every British head of government since the Brexit vote. The unresolved Northern Ireland problem raises internal party hurdles that ultimately lead to the end of the respective era. And this also threatens the current Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. In October, he did not exactly come to the top of the Conservatives as a beacon of hope. In the summer, he had lost a member poll against Liz Truss still. He then followed her only because this time the members were not consulted and many Tories finally longed for an end to the debate about the party leadership. The hope was short-lived, though. The Tories are 20% behind Labour in polls, at least. If elected today, they would only be the fourth largest group behind Labour, the Liberals and the Scottish Nationals. Sunak has so far shown no initiative to solve the major problems here, inflation and separatism. He could now fall in the only area he is addressing, in the negotiations with the EU about the special status of Northern Ireland. Negotiations between London and Brussels have been ongoing since the beginning of the year again, and as I said, a solution could now be available. Only checks in the Irish Sea for goods that are imported from Great Britain um, via Northern Ireland into the EU, but no longer for goods that remain in Northern Ireland. And no jurisdiction of the EU courts for Northern Ireland, so the government in London is dropping plans to unilaterally override parts of the Brexit Treaty, illegally, by the way. But for the Northern Ireland so-called Democratic Unionist Party, even this is going too far. They, as I said, have been boycotting government work in Belfast for a year and only want to return when there are no longer any special regulations for the region. DUP MP Sammy Wilson said in Westminster on Wednesday how serious they are about it. People died for Northern Ireland to be part of the United Kingdom, he said. The DUP, supported by the right-wing conservative anti-European Tories, the infamous European Research Group, they pose bigger problems for Sunak than the future of the Northern Ireland government. According to observers, a hundred conservatives want to vote against the agreement if there is a vote. There is also talk of ministerial resignations. Sunak could get the agreement through the House of Commons with Labour's help, of course. But to oppose such a large internal party opposition, however, 
that would herald his end as party leader. For Sunak, the protocol debate is about more than just the future of the Northern Ireland government. Because these 100 MPs I, I mentioned would be Sunak's downfall. As I said, he can't afford to stand against such a large inner party opposition, even if they are not the, um, the majority of the party group. But sometimes a minority can be really a pain in the you-know-what. And regional elections are due in May, which the Tories are likely to lose. The 1922 committee, which is responsible for internal party affairs, is already working on an amendment to the statutes that would make a vote of no confidence in Sunak possible. They already did it in Johnson's case. At present, such a proposal can only be introduced after one year in office. It is increasingly likely that Sunak, like his predecessor Truss, will not make it to a year in office. Like his predecessors, with the exception of Truss, who was in office too briefly to devote herself to it, he could stumble across Northern Ireland. And it's possible that from May, the Tories will start looking for their fourth leader in 12 months. And so whenever I have to talk in these videos about possible solutions for the, the issues with the Northern Ireland Protocol, the British have, the EU doesn't have any issues with that. It's always likely that whatever solution is found on the negotiation table, that this will be torpedoed by the ERG and the DUP. We all know this. And so there is no easy solution for this. The only question is, will Sunak risk his post by bringing something to Parliament and voting with Labour? Or by not letting them vote at all? Because we are talking in the end still about minor changes to an existing protocol. Legally, he does not have to let them vote on it. That is a way where he could get through without a defeat in his own party in Parliament by having so many MPs voting against it. But if he does that, what will happen in his party then? Will they start to write letters? And we know that if members of a parliamentary group start writing letters, what that means, ask Boris Johnson or Liz Truss. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.